So the second rule that's changed is this, these two words here, job and work. And again, it goes back to the rule changes in 71 and 74. One of the first things that changed is that this comes from my book, the second book in the Rich Dad series, is the cash flow quadrant. And my, my, my Rich Dad said there's four basic people in the world of business. They're employees, self-employed or small business or specialist like a doctor or attorney. There's big business and there's an investor. So what happens is the reason people get in financial trouble, since they don't have any financial education, well, they do get a job and they either get a job as an employee or they get a job as a specialist, you know, like a doctor, a lawyer, a small business person, and all this. So this is what our school systems currently train people to be, and that's why you hear people say, I'm going to go to school so I can get a safe, secure job. And most of the time, they're over here, and that was my poor dad. He wanted me to become, get a job here. My mother wanted to become a doctor, you know, a smart person. And I said, Mom, there's only one problem with me being a doctor is I'm not smart. She says, good point there. You probably shouldn't be a doctor things like this. Now, the other thing that most people do not know is the tax laws for all four of these people are different. The employees pay the highest percentage of taxes. Second are the specialists, like the doctors, lawyers, accountants. And these guys pay the least and sometimes zero taxes. So that's what's changing is because we need to know as part of our financial ed education is how does tax affect our lives? And tax is our single largest expense, and given the national debt of most countries and the U.S., they're going to keep raising taxes somehow, sales tax, gas tax, whatever the case is. The Rich Dad Company trains people to work over here to either become an entrepreneur like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs or Branson or Rupert Murdoch, you know, some big entrepreneur, my friend Donald Trump, or to be an investor like Warren Buffett or George Soros, things like this. So the Rich Dad Company trains people to work or to think like B's and I's. The trouble with most E's, the reason they don't make, make it well over here, is they're so into security. You know, I need job security. And these guys here, the specialists, they say, if you want it done right, you do it by yourself. So they get taxed the most and all this. Another point here is the reason the governments of the world give these guys the tax breaks is because these guys provide the jobs and these guys provide the investment money to buy to build new houses and factories and things like this. So that's why these guys get the tax breaks here. So another reason people are in financial trouble is after 1974, all of these guys had to start becoming investors. And that's why in 1974 in America it's called the 401k. And the problem with that is the most highly taxed investment vehicle you can put your money into. So there's, there, there, because of a lack of financial education, people are investing in 401ks and mutual funds and still paying exceptionally high taxes. Another part of your financial IQ is to know there's three types of income. So if you're going to, say, work hard, most people are working hard for earned income, and that's what these guys are working for. The trouble with earned income in America, your tax rate's approximately 50%. Or as Warren Buffett says, it's a shame that his secretary pays a higher percentage in taxes than he did, although he makes billions of dollars. So when you say to a child, go to school and get a safe, secure job, you tell them to work for earned income, the worst type of income. The second type of income is portfolio income. And today, as I speak, and they're trying to change this, it's about 20%. And portfolio income is generally known as capital gains. So if I buy a stock for $10, and I sell it for $50, the uh, $40 gain is taxed at 20%. Or if I buy a house for $100,000 and I sell it for $200,000, that's a capital gains type event. So you pay a lot of tax for that. And the third type of income, which is the, which is the um, best type of income, excuse me, I can't spell again, is passive income. And this is income that just comes in on a regular basis. One of the reasons I am wealthy and is able to retire at a young age is because I worked hard for passive income, not earned income. I don't flip real estate generally, not portfolio income. I don't flip stocks. I want passive income. So today, the new rules of money is important to understand what are you going to school to become, ES, entrepreneur or investor, and what kind of income you're working hard for, earned, portfolio, or passive. And if you know what you're doing, you can pay 0% taxes legally. 
And this can be done all over the world. People say, we can't do it in my country. Well, these people can't do it in any country, but in most parts of the world, governments need these people. So they're always giving tax incentives for, for investors and business owners who are for passive income. So those are some of the new rules of money. You've really got to know what you're working hard at and what kind of work are you performing, what kind of income are you working hard for. Personally, I want to minimize this. Unfortunately, one more point, is 401k when you retire is earned income. From savings, it's earned income. So that's why I don't personally have a 401k and I don't have savings and I really don't want a job is because I don't want much earned income. What I'm working hard for is portfolio and passive income and that's required for people to think like bees and eyes. And that's what my book, The Cash Flow Quadrant, is about. For those who want to make changes from E's and S's to B's and I's, I think it's a book you'll find worth reading. You, you, might, you might find it's a mindset change first. Like these guys want job security. These guys want to take advantage of opportunities. These guys want to do it on their own so they don't make very good big entrepreneurs. So those are some of the differences. It begins with mindset and all this and knowing what kind of income you work hard for.